Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when your computer shuts down or your computer restarts while playing Tekken 8 game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on browse local files. It will straight away Take you to the game installation folder. Now over here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click and launch the game from the game installation folder. Now if you have the demo file you can make a right click select properties do the same thing over here and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game now still you're facing the problem then open polaris folder binaries folder win64 and select the second exe file select this exe file and then select properties select properties and then again put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok now, the next step is to make a right click on the game exe file once again, select properties and then put a check on, put a check over here and then select Windows 8 and then put a check on disable full screen optimization, then click on apply, click on OK. If that does not work, you can select Windows 7 in the list over here and then click on apply, click on OK and then make a double click launch the game. You can do the same thing with the first exe file. You can do the same thing over here properties and then put a check over here and then put a check over here disable full screen optimization apply ok if that does not work you can you can even try windows 7 over here click on apply click on ok and then launch the game you can do the same thing with uh, demo file if you have this now still you're facing the problem in that case you can make a right click on this game exe file select properties and uncheck all these boxes so if checking the boxes does not help in that case you can uncheck all these boxes uh, do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to make changes in the registry now this has worked for few players so it might work for you so you can go to this location so type in registry editor in windows search box and then click on registry editor click on yes to allow and then now go to this location so expand h key local machine now expand system and then expand the system and then expand current control set now expand control and then graphics driver control and then find graphics driver scroll down so here you can see uh, graphics driver and then once you select graphics driver add a new 32 bit so make a right click over here and then select new so make a right click and then select new D word 32 bit value name this as TDR level make a right click then rename TDR level without any space and then set the value to zero you can make a right click and then make a double click and then set the value to zero and then click on OK and then restart your computer and after the system restart, make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to uninstall ICU software from Corsair. So if you have this software, you can uninstall it or you can close it and then launch the game. Next step is to disable VPN. So if you're using VPN, avoid using VPN. And next step is to avoid using frame limiter apps. So if you have any kind of frame limiter apps you can close it and then launch the game next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card 
go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list so select the right product type and then select the right series so i'm and then select your graphic card so i'm selecting my graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here now if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on start search now once you click on start search scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.23 so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom over here make sure that you select custom over here then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation now click on next and let the installation complete and once the installation is complete restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then if you have the demo file you can select it click on add again click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on add and once it is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check now the next step is to roll back graphics driver now to roll back graphics driver you can go to nvidia website i'm showing for nvidia you can do the same thing with amd you can go to amd website and then select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card select the right operating system then click on start search and this time you can try the older version so the latest one right now is 551.23 uh, that is the game geforce game ready driver you can try 546.65 or 546.33 so you can try this you can download it click on get download and then download the file and during the installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation do a clean installation then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to now this is for now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then select the second exe file now click on open and then again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added so once added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select the second select the second exe file now click on open now click on add 
in my case this is also added again click on allow another app browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now click on add in my case all the games all the game files are added once added click on the ok on the bottom and then launch the game and then check next step is to try these in launch options so you can make a right click on the game select properties and in the in the launch option type in dash dx11 dx11 and then close this and then launch the game if that does not work again make a right click select properties and this time type in dash dx12 and then launch the game if that does not work in that case empty this remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files this has also worked for many players so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 18 uh, 15 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 so you have to download both x86 and x64 now run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it is already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer so ignore this error message now in download x64 and again once the download is complete run the second exe file and then again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once the installation is complete make sure that you restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to rename save game files now go to the save game location so now before you rename it let me inform you that you have to start everything from scratch so you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data folder open app data folder open the local folder and then find the game folder open the taken a demo folder and over here you will find all your save game files so you have to rename this file so go back and rename this taken 8 folder so you can just uh, rename it whatever you want so i will just rename it it's taken demo uh, dot old you can rename it and then you can launch the game now, once you launch the game it will create a new taken 8 game folder and you have to start everything from scratch if that does not work you can delete the save game files now again you will lose all the game progress so if that does not work you can simply make a right click on the Tekken 8 and delete this file and then launch the game now the next step is to unplug all the external devices connected to the computer so if you're not using these devices disconnect it also disconnect additional controller connected to the computer try launching the game on single monitor disable steam overlay to disable steam overlay make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off now launch the game also disable all other overlay applications so if you have discord g for experience or any other overlay application close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner or revert tuner running close it also make sure you close all the third party services so make sure that you close all the third party application and services including your browser also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services over here and then click on disable all now in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory 
So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to Advanced tab and then click on Change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two four five seven six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is sixteen gigabyte. I have sixteen gigabyte of RAM. So sixteen into one zero two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is. 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and then turn off VSync. You can lock the FPS at 60 and lower down video settings. So go to if you are able to launch the game. If you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. Next step is to update the system BIOS. So to update the system BIOS, go to the go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. Now before you update the BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Now during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. Now after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after you uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to another drive, you can try to install the game to C drive and then check. Now if the game is already installed in C drive, in that case, you can try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.